Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you side chaining stems in Reaper. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to create stems in Reaper, which is basically creating groups of your tracks that can be blended later to recreate your mix. If you're sending it for a commercial, a TV show, or a movie, where the video editor wants to put your files together to recreate your mix without having to start from scratch, but giving them some flexibility to change it a bit. So the project set up here, let's hear what it sounds like now. I've been hanging on counting days thinking it was me all along. Had a million conversations in my head about where it went wrong. And I've got no so normally, to create stems, we would select the tracks we want to separate by groups. So I could choose my drums, because all the drums are in this folder track, and I'll select the bass synth, the keys, as the keyboards are in this keyboard folder, and finally, the vocal. So creating four stems, our drums, bass, keys, and vocals. So we'll go up here to the file menu and choose Render. Then we'll choose, instead of Master Mix, Selected Tracks via Master, which we could use to create stems. We wouldn't choose this version. That's only going to separate our files track by track without including anything on the Master Fader or any effects sends or returns. So we want to choose Selected Tracks via Master to correctly create stems. And then we'll name them based on their track. We'll choose where to save them the sample rate and stereo, and the file type down here. I'm going to use WAV. And then we'll render the files, and it'll create four separate files that could be used as stems. Render them, and we can see, one by one, Reaper creates stems. We can close it, go to our hard drive, and see those stems right here. Our drums, bass synth, keys, and vocals. And if we create a new project in Reaper, we could bring in those stems and still have our mix. Just drag them in. Here's our drum stem, our bass synth, our keys, and vocal. And like I said, it should sound exactly like our mix. I've been hanging on counting days, thinking it was me all along. But now we could turn off the vocal and still have our mix. just without the vocal, or without the drums. I've been hanging on counting days thinking it was me. Or just lower or boost some tracks. Let's lower the volume on the vocal. I've been hanging on counting days thinking it was me all along. So it's still our mix, but the final editor or video editor has some flexibility to adjust it, which is typically what they want when they ask for stems. But there's one problem with this method. This is only going to work if we're not using dynamic plugins on the master fader or the master track. If we go right here on the master track and look at the effects, we can see I have a compressor on the master track. So that's an issue, as our stems won't be perfect running through this compressor separately on each stem. We need the compressor to compress exactly the same as if the whole mix was triggering this compressor. Now for the EQ on the master track, that's not a problem, as EQ on each stem will be exactly the same. But to fix a compression problem, which will exist for compressors, limiters, or any dynamic plugins you use, we need to sidechain the compressor, which means triggering it from the whole mix while printing the stems separately. This way when we put the stems together, we'll correctly have our mix. So the quickest way to do this is to first render a full mix that we could use to sidechain the compressor. So let's close this, go to File, and Render. But this time we're going to choose to render a master mix, which is the full mix of our project. We should also bypass the effects on the master track for this render, 
so it's not running through the compressor twice. Once for the sidechain mix, and again when we're compressing our stems. But before we render this mix, we should choose the option right here. Add rendered items to new tracks in project, which will import the final mix back into this project. So we could use it for sidechaining. So let's choose this. It bounces the final mix. Let's close it. It added the mix down here. Let's move it to the top. And let's name it sidechain to remember what we're going to use it for. Then we can turn our master track effects back on. Now we have the final mix in our project, but we don't want to hear it through our speakers. So we should choose the routing and turn off the master parent send. So I'm not going to hear it. I've been hanging on, and it was me all along. As we don't need to hear that track. We're just going to use it for side chaining to our compressor. Then we'll go to the master track and go to the routing and change the track channels from two to four. We're going to use three and four for the side chain signal. Then we'll go back to the effects and our compressor switch it to auxiliary inputs. So it's going to receive channels three and four and compress based on that or be triggered by our full mix, even if we're rendering just certain tracks as stems. Then we'll go to the routing on the side chain and switch the parent channels to three and four and turn back on the master parent send. So it's still not gonna hear this track, but it's now sending to the compressor. So if I mute it, no compression is gonna happen. I've been hanging on counting days thinking it was me all along. And if we unmute it, then compression will happen. I've been hanging on counting days thinking it was me all along. Now it's going to work if we render our stems separately. But we should also go to the solo button on the side chain and right click it and choose solo defeat, which will keep this track on if we solo the other tracks. So if I solo the drums, we'll see in our compressor, it's compressing based on everything. The compressor is triggered by the full mix, but we're only hearing the drums. We can hear it better if we solo the keyboards. Notice how the keyboards pump and breathe when we listen to that stem. Because it's compressing based on the full mix, but processing just the keyboard stem. And we could hear it on the vocal as well. I've been hanging on counting days thinking it was me all along. Notice how the stem is still compressing. Had a million conversations in my head. Even when the vocal isn't singing. And I've got no idea where you've been, who you are, not anymore. So it's compressing each stem equally based on the full mix, even though we're printing each stem separately. Now we can't render all the stems together. We have to do it one at a time. So we'll solo the drums, go to File, and Render, and we're still going to choose the master mix. Even though we're creating stems, as we sold the drums. And we could turn this off. Let's name it drums and then render our drum stem. And it's rendering it with full compression based on the full mix. And we'll just do that for each one. We'll solo the bass synth and render that. The keyboards. And finally, the vocal. And that creates a vocal stem. So now we can create a new project, dragging the stems to here, all of them except for the master. And it looks like this, and it sounds like this. I've been hanging on counting days. 
face thinking it was me all along. Again, each stem might sound a bit weird. Let's hear the keyboards. Notice how the gain changes up and down because it's compressing based on the full mix. But it'll still make our stems together. It'll sound exactly like our mix. So we can make a mix without the vocal. Or without the drums and bass. I've been hanging on counting days thinking it was me all along. Or just lower or raise the volume of our tracks. I've been hanging on counting days thinking it was me all along. Had a million conversations in my head about where it went wrong. But it still recreates our mix perfectly while considering any dynamic plugins or compressor plugins we have on the master track. So that's pretty much it. That's side chaining stems in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.